Hello, this is Mad Pistol again, here with another video tutorial on how to what using piston doors. And today we're going to be using pressure plates. Now in our other video we already went over pressure plates, but so let me show you how this works. So you step on the pressure plate and it opens. You come off the pressure plate and it closes. Step on the pressure plate, opens, step off, closes. Pretty nice, huh? Well, but what happens when you get to one side and you don't want it to open anymore? You don't you want those pressure plates to go inactive so you can't enter it from the other side. So you just flip a switch and well that's weird. Door doesn't open anymore. <laughs> Imagine that. I can step on it, jump on it all day long, but as soon as I flip the switch, it reopens. Flip the switch and it's locked again. So as you can see, we have a switch locking uh, piston door. So, and it's pretty uh, fantastic to have, especially when you don't want someone coming into your humble abode, but yet you want piston, uh, you want a simple piston door. So, let me show you how I did that. We're going to go ahead and unlock that. Door opens now. We're going to go to the other side. And here's what we have. There's where the switch is at. And it's actually lined down into a, a line of redstone and we run to this door and we have it actually running to the other door. Now the reason I've got the repeater right there is because there's a repeater on the other side so the doors open at the same time. Down here we have the same mechanism that we used before. All the pressure pads are up above. Comes over here but as you can see there's a, red, there's a redstone torch right there and there's one down there. So you now have three redstone torches instead of one. I've actually revised my um, I've actually revised my mechanism a little bit to be able to fit this one. So this line right here runs to the other side, but it really doesn't do much. It's just the it's just the same line coming out of the switch. So the whole idea is that this switch right here, when activated, defeats uh, this one. So that way there is no longer um, power coming from that one. It still powers on, but it doesn't do anything to this redstone torch. The redstone torch remains on, re doesn't uh, turn this line on, uh, it just remains uh, in the state that it's at, thanks to the switch. Let's go back over here and look at this, and then we're going to attempt to build it. So as you can see, it opens fine right now. As soon as we turn it, it on, it no longer opens. That's how that works. Let me show you. Uh, the other side actually is very simple. There's really nothing special about it. We could just completely cover it over and you'd never know it was there. Let's go over to our little building area with all the little diamonds. Let's see if we can build a door like this. Same idea over here. Now the difference is we have, once again, six pistons instead of eight. So it's going to be a little bit different. It's a little bit more compact than the other one over there, which means that we have to build it a little bit differently. But we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and put down our pressure pads. It's first thing, very important. And then we'll go from there. This is the boring part. Sorry. Alright. So let's go ahead and line it with redstone. Oops. Once again, we only need it from one side. We don't need it from both sides. We only need the line running to uh, each side uh, once. There we go. Let's go back over here. Let's finish running. Oops, let's finish running this. And oops, my bad. There we go. All right. So now we know where that's at. So now we're going to run a switch to uh, right here. We're going to run just a regular redstone switch to right there. All right. So. Oops, forgot to put down the pressure pads. So we step on it, it opens. Very good. But um, there's no locking mechanism. So we have to, in order to create the locking mechanism, we have to add two more redstone torches. The only way we can do that is to actually back this up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Here we go. We also have to put a redstone torch underneath. 
be able to get this to work, so we have to put one right there. Go ahead and do that. Oops. There we go. Now, if we just leave it like that, it's going to remain open. So if you step on the, if you take out that uh, redstone torch right there and just run a line directly to it, stepping on the pressure pad will actually close it. Kind of a cool little uh, trap door, if you will. Uh, you run towards it, it's like, yay, it's a place to go in. And you step on the pressure pads and door closes. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, you should try it on your friend sometimes. There we go, now it closes. So now we have it wired, so it does in fact work. There we go. Now in order to save time, we're going to go ahead and put a, um, let's see, I think we're going to go ahead and put a repeater right here. There we go. Here we are. We're going to have to put a repeater on the other side anyway. So, okay, so now we've got that set up. So now we need to set a locking mechanism for this. So what are we going to do for that? Well, we have to run a line into it. Um, it's really not uh, terribly difficult. Actually, I'm going to run the line one more over, just like that. Now we can do this without having to worry about interfering. And we're going to make this simple. We're not going to. We're just going to put the switch on the ground. Nothing special about it. And there you go. So as you can see, the switch doesn't have the switch doesn't do anything. Whoops. Hello. Strange little glitch. Turn that on. Door doesn't open anymore. Okay. So now we've got that set up. Um, as you know, you can make this bigger if you want. You can make you can allow it to run around. In fact, that's probably what you want to do if you want to put up a wall. Um, and this is just for the sake of time and demonstration. This is how we're going to do it. Okay, so now we've done this. We need to run it. We need to run a line to the other side. Now, normally we'd run a line to both sides, but since we have a um, since we have a special line for this, we're just going to run the line directly to it. Let's go ahead and do that. Don't want to do that. And you feel free to make this more compact. I'm mainly doing this just for, uh, for purposes of uh, time more than anything. Here we go. Let's put a redstone torch right there. Good, now it's stuck open. Now we're going to go ahead and put a uh, repeater down as well because it's going to need one. There we go. Go ahead, and I don't have any dirt, so we're just going to put that down just like that. Now we're going to run some redstone torches. Now we're going to run some redstone to it. There we go. Repeater is activated. And there we go. Now it's clo you just heard it close. There we go. All right. So now at this point, we can completely cover over it. Before we do that, let's make sure it works. Good. Does not work. All right. Turn that on. And the door works. There you go. Let's show you how we did that again. Uh, we have the... Your nor we have your typical uh, piston door. We have your typical pressure pad piston door set up. Uh, several uh, pressure pads open the door. So step on it, opens door. Pretty simple. Now, from here, what we have to do is we have to set up two. We have to set up three redstone torches, one on the door and two in between. The first redstone torch activates as a kind of a, a synapse to go to the um, to go towards the uh, the switch that actually turns it off. The second one is just uh, just defeats that. So if you have it uh, already and if you have the switch uh, off, it will um, it'll work properly. So that's how that works. And then at that point, all you have to do is you have to run one again to the other side. I was lazy. I just ran it around to the side. You can probably run it underground or underneath if you want to. If space is really a constraint, since there isn't really much of a space constraint over here, I didn't really feel the need to do that. Um, now, the only issue with this setup is that you are going to have a block that's going to be sticking up right here, just like that. You're also going to have another one right there, so that way you don't cut off the line. 
Um, this can be this can be uh, overcome by walls or by building a small wall right there and then enclosing it slightly. Uh, there's also another way that I saw on a video of how to do it using pistons. I'm actually going to experiment with that right now, and I'll post another video when I've got a um, when I've got an update on that. So there we go. Walk in, door opens. Walk off. You don't want someone to come in. Flip that switch. You're done. Please feel free to review this video anytime you need, and please feel free to make any sort of modifications you need to in order to make it more compact. This is Mad Pistol. Thank you for watching.